Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Pinovich here. We're tracking a pretty big storm system for the weekend. Some folks are going to see a return to winter. Other folks are going to see severe weather. Some of us will see a little bit of both, but it's not as doom and gloom as it might seem, especially for severe weather. This is really going to be specific areas that we're talking about impacted by the severe weather. So let me show the overall view here. Pretty significant setup here. Here is our Arctic front. You see it back to the west. This is the area of low pressure down here over the Gulf of Mexico, and this is the old stalled front. Now this is the warm front, cold front combo. You know, that's what a stalled front is. Anywhere along and south of that front, that's where the juicy air for thunderstorms are. If that moves north, then that would put us in a risk, but I don't think it's gonna make it that far north. And I'm gonna show you why as we go through time. Now, let me show you the severe weather outlook. This is for tonight. This is way overdone. We're probably not gonna see anything severe really tonight. What I mean by tonight is through two o'clock in the morning. So I think this is way, 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 way overdone. Um, now tomorrow, I do think there is gonna be a pretty significant risk of severe weather as you go east. And this actually makes a lot more sense to me um, for areas that will watch uh, in the coastal sections of North and South Carolina. But that does mean for a small section here, especially parts of uh, Stanley, Anson, I would say more Anson, um, I would say more Stanley to be honest with you, um, probably not Anson, maybe more in the Rockingham, uh, Richmond County, Eastern Chesterfield County area. And even there, I think it's kind of, going to be a close call. And I'll show you why. Uh, we've got this warm front. The warm front's everything. Wherever the warm front goes, that's where severe weather goes. So here's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, down here, yeah, severe weather, but it's just too stable here. These would be what we call elevated thunderstorms. If they're not attached to the surface, which means the thunderstorm activity is up aloft, uh, lightning and thunder you can get, you tend to not get severe weather down to the surface. That's just the way the system works. Um, so that warm front's everything. Wherever it goes, that's where the severe weather goes overnight, and it never really gets here. But the front does, a cold front could be pretty potent as it moves through there around five, six in the morning. So. Um, I don't think we'll see widespread severe, but there is a lot of wind energy and it doesn't take much often to mix down some strong winds. So as that front moves through, we certainly could see some strong winds as the storms move through. So let me show you the close up view of this. We'll, we'll go really, really slow here, hour by hour, light rain drizzle, nothing to worry about here. I'm going to stop this around two o'clock in the morning. So no severe weather between now and 2 a.m. But once we get to about four or five in the morning, eh, we'll see what's going on. Not sure we're going to see severe here, unless this is the actual warm front, which there are hints it might be. There might be, especially in here, some cloud to ground lightning, maybe some gusty winds. I really think the biggest risk is when the cold front starts sweeping east right here. I'm going to stop it around 6 a.m., 6, 7 a.m. So this is the cold front. You can actually see it. Look at that northwest wind, southerly winds here. So this could have some strong winds around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning from Greensboro to Albemarle Monroe down to Lancaster. It pushes off to the east and you could see it fairly quickly getting out of here. Here comes the cold air and boy, is it gonna be cold. The high temperature today, it's gonna to be at midnight. It's gonna be falling all day. During the day tomorrow, it will feel like we've gone back to January, February. Yes, that is snow in the mountains and it could accumulate quite a bit. That's why there are winter storm warnings and advisories up there. Let's talk about the severe weather risk. We'll get to the snow here in a minute. So why am I not too worried about it? There is zero thunderstorm fuel except for right there, five, six in the morning. So this is that surface base instability. We call it Cape. You could see it's right in there. That's the one little area. There's just nothing back here. So it doesn't mean we couldn't see strong winds, but uh, tornado risk or damaging severe thunderstorms are unlikely. It's probably just going to be strong winds with the cold front. You can see as that pushes off to the east. And just to reiterate that, the tornado preamp, which shows us all of the ingredients <clears throat> excuse me, for tornadoes, just don't see much of anything. We've got zeros across the board. So let me, let me pause this. I'm going to pause this tomorrow morning around 7 a.m. And we'll, we'll look. I, I'll move the map here. You can see where the risk for severe weather is. This is where the tornado parameter is higher down here. You know, some of these areas were in the two to three range. So nothing really up here. It's all off to the southeast. So Another reason to think we're probably not going to see much. So let's again, we'll go through the future cast here. There it is moving through. Again, gusty winds with the front and the snow. Yes, snow. We've got winter storm warnings up, <coughs> excuse me, for parts of the mountains and foothills back into Tennessee. You can see that's Avery County South, but everyone's going to see the same thing. Don't get caught up in the specific um, advisory versus warning. This is what we're going to see. Blowing, snow, cold. 
refreezing of any rain that falls ahead of this. So really icy spots. So by midday tomorrow, you can see some of these totals um, in the mountains, especially right in here. You're probably looking at two to four inches above 3,500 feet. Boone, Blowing Rock, probably more in the one to two inch range. A lot of melting going on. Heavier amounts in the higher elevations on the Tennessee side. Roan Mountain over there towards the Smokies gets clobbered. But here's the thing, the temperature is gonna be plummeting so quickly. Anything that falls could cause slick roads. And speaking of those temperatures, look at these wind chills as the cold front moves through. So you see the wind chills in the morning aren't bad, but as we go into the afternoon, oh my goodness, they just bottom out. By five o'clock, the wind chills are below zero in the mountains, and we've got teens and 20s across the Piedmont. That is a cold, cold setup. So because of that cold air, you're gonna see probably some pretty significant impacts. There's low to medium impacts up there in the mountains. So slick roads, a certainty. So please be careful traveling in the mountains. And for everybody, the cold air is coming in Sunday night into Monday. We're gonna have a, a hard freeze Sunday morning and a light freeze or frost Monday morning. So really cold air moving in for the weekend. So let me show you the seven day forecast. I'll leave you with this. There we are, I will take my face out of the way so it's not blocking anything. You can see the cold air this weekend. Don't forget to set those clocks ahead. One hour Saturday night into Sunday morning. If you don't like the cold, it's just this weekend. By next week, everything starts to warm back up and we're in the 60s and 70s, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay weather aware and weather safe. I will keep you updated no matter what happens this weekend.